Back to home base, do some brewing. I can do that all fairly fast. Um, gather all my dead items for the dead item shop. Yeah, yeah. Howdy, partner. How, how do your kind fare? something I want to do that's going to be incredibly satisfying. Do you remember that time, a long time ago, where I got a bunch of muddy water? Like a whole stack of muddy water. Right here. Guess what? This is from the news patch that just came out today. Now you can empty water slash blood bottles via new action in the interaction menu. I can finally pour out the muddy water. I don't have to chug a bunch of sludge. Pour out. Pour out. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't actually have that many filled bottles, huh? There is the water pump just right over here. Maybe I should go do that. Do I have time to do that tonight? Six tinctures isn't going to be very much. Ah, I don't know. What do I got going on in here? Nothing. Let's go do it real fast. It's important. It's important to have a good amount of tinctures and stuff for treatment while I'm walking so that I can treat people while I'm there. That'll save a lot of time in the long run. And there's, God knows there's a lot of people to treat. I hope this water isn't nasty. It's not an infected zone anymore, so it should be fine, right? It's broken again, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I might even have the stuff to repair it. I probably have a gear back at home. Do I have enough time to go back, grab the gear, go here, get the water, go back? Fuck. I mean, I guess it's not that long. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We've got all the time in the world. I really don't, though. There it is. I don't want to kill Earth. Fuck off. Oh, I'm so excited. Five, six, seven. I got five and a half hours? Yeah. Plenty of time. If I've learned anything in this game, it's that when it comes to time, don't worry about it.
I don't think I can fix anything. No, I don't have any sharpening stones. Alright, thimble in here for later repairage. Um. Oh, in this safe, did I not repair the th thingy? I can probably repair it. Probably takes like a... That? Oh, I need tweezers. That's what I'm missing. Okay, white whip. Yep, great. Oh, go there. Swivery. Okay. Recipes. Well, I have enough water that I can just make as many of this, the pluses as I can. I'm going to run out of herbs before I run out of water. White whip and blood. Let's do that. Okay, swevery and blood. Let's do that. Ashen and black. All right, that's all the pluses I can make, but of course I'm going to make more. I have 14 more. What do I need more of the most? I've got three medrol. Two yas, I definitely need more blood. I mean, let's just make a bunch. Like, maybe I'll aim for having four of each. That seems reasonable. Actually, I should probably have more. Because I should make some antibiotics and whatnot. If I can, I actually don't think I have the stuff for more antibiotics. But I have the stuff for more painkillers. I'm sure of that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So, Zirk, brown and black. Need water? Oh, the stack that I put in there ran out, but I still have another stack, it's fine. Now let's make some Yas, blood and brown. Okay, uh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good amount of those. Let's just stick with that. Let's put these herbs away. Let's do like some brain and some... I don't know, I got two hearts. Let's make some painkillers that stack. Wait, what? Let's get in there. Heart plus Yas, and then, I don't know, let's do it. No, we want it to stack. Let's do two Yasses. Okay. Yeah. I think it's about as good as I can get. Five Zirk, four of that, three Medrul. Yeah, it's fine, right? This here. Put the blood and the water next to each other. My hunger's quite high, isn't it? Hmm. Let's go. Ooh, hold on. Yas plus. That will reduce my hunger. Plus, I need more immunity anyway. Very, very slightly reduced hunger. But it's something. Okay, where am I going? I wanna visit the kid. Oh, 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 oh my god. I forgot my dead items. That's really important. I'm gonna be able to get a lot at the dead item shop. I have so many dead items. So many. 
traces. Rotten food. A bunch of ampules. Bunch of bloody bandages. More than a stack. I got some broken scissors. I think that's it. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, is a rusty scalpel considered an old item? I don't know. I'll take it. Yeah, let's visit the kids and then go up to the theater and then the dead item shop. That sounds good. I think it's probably faster to go across the bridge and like this than it is to go like this because there's a bunch of train cars in the way here. a new day, so I suppose the shady shop will have changed their wares. Not that it matters. The issue is that I'm pretty poor. I'm just thinking about sources of food. I mean, if I go up to get my fund here, that probably will have food? Or maybe just a bunch of tickets to buy food? You know what? I want a map of where the infected districts are, because I entirely missed Lara, because I did not realize that it was an infected district. I thought I would touch every district and it wouldn't be a problem, but it was. It's not you that has it, but, uh, oh, you have bread. Enough stuff to get it. But you do sell the extremely cheap fingernails. Very cheap. Like one broken scissors for two fingernails? That's amazing. It's you. Yes, you have it. The price keeps going up, you fucker. 14, huh? Whoa, why is this painkiller worth so much? 15 versus this one being 8 kidney. This is made from blood. I think the harder the organ is that it's made from, maybe the more effective the painkiller is. If they're willing to pay more for it. Anyway, yeah. Um, thank you. Now there's a lot of people that I know are in danger, huh? What do we got? Top of town and the middle of town. So that leaves us Young Vlad, Vlad, and Yulia in danger. Just three people. Okay, that's not too bad, but then we do have four infected people, so, you know. Need a bandage pretty bad. Sure hope the kids have some bandages. Why would kids have some fucking bandages? I'm gonna die on the way there, aren't I? My infection's getting a bit higher. <sighs> My exhaustion's also quite high too. Fuck, I need to sleep, but I need to go to the dead item shop. That's going to be so valuable with all this stuff I have. Like unbelievably mind-bogglingly valuable. Am I going to have to down all my potions? Tinctures, I mean. Zirk is thirst. This one is exhaustion. Mm. I could just ignore the kids. Could do that. Nah, let's go to him. I'm gonna say hi to the kids even if it kills me. Ow. I'm seriously like about to die, actually. <laughs> Unless they have something for me, I am dead. 
iron creeps into the step, the railroad. Iron creeps into the step, elongated things. Also rusty wheels, train wheels and grass. Also old car parts and dilapidated factories. Oh yeah, the factory too. It turns bowls into canned meat. Same process. Is it true that the factory was a foundry first? Because they found copper in the step. True. But then the copper disappeared somehow, so they turned it into a slaughterhouse. Me, I don't like iron. It's wicked, alien, and rusty. Iron, cold iron, shall be the master of you all. Do you know that poem? Quick train, race train, speedy, lightning fast, instantaneous. Ah, <sighs> I guess I'm choosing the wrong names. For the train? Try a swear word. Capella. And so, Katarina has an heiress no more. I'm so pleased to see you. Please meet... Oh, I think somebody told me it's not Casper. It's like, I guess, Kospar? And also Khan, that's the K-H, so that's actually Han. I'm so pleased to see you. Please, meet Kospar. We call him Han. I haven't formally introduced him to you before, have I? We were just discussing our plans for after the outbreak. We've met. Why are you smiling like that? Just imagining your long and happy life together. <laughs> I, uh, no, I phrased that wrong. Well, not wrong, but never mind. Can I be of any help? Yes. Yes, you can. Give me bandages and food and sleep. Just give me your sleep. Can you do that? Thanks. No, oh, I can see I'm a third wheel here. I'm sorry about your father, Burach. He was a man of great humanity. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? You're interrupting. Why is no one ever happy to see me? You are a doctor, a brave and useful person. So I'll be patient and won't stoop to quarrel. But do understand, Capella and I will not continue our conversation until you leave. Go on then, talk. No, don't play air knife. I'm literally about to die in like seconds. I can't think of anything I can do to help. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Painkiller. This might increase my health slightly. That did nothing. Oh shit, it's my hunger, isn't it? Well, fine. I'll eat rotten food then. Well, that actually worked. It hurt my health, but... Now my hunger's not killing me. Alright. Let's see if the infection doesn't kill me before I get something. I don't know. Death has its eyes on me now. I want to meet one of those water people, because I have some water to give them. Get a bandage or something. Yeah. There's no point in stopping in these stores. I can't buy anything. Bandage person, please. Grindstone would be nice. Not that it really matters right now. Should I just load my game? When did I last save? What the hell? Oh. Being chased. Haven't seen a bandaged person. And if I watch the theater performance, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die halfway through. And this is an infected district, right? 
That's a problem. Only thing I can think of to do right now, loot a random house. Let's try it. Why is it not locked? Is this a looter house? Or is that just how they are in infected districts? I don't think I've been inside of a house and it- Oh my god! F fuck, it's like a scary cave and I don't think I have any matches. Nope. Alright. Well. There's going to be a bandage in here. Did I just find another package inside of a package? What the hell was that? Peanuts. I'll eat peanuts. I'll be nice and healthy before I die. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a lot of money. Okay, yeah. So that's actually really, like, there's really good stuff in there. It's really worth going into infected people's homes, I have just realized. They are, to put it bluntly, both puerile and eluded. A tough crowd. We're in mourning today. We lost yet another one. I'm glad you came to replace them. Perhaps this time we'll make more progress. Is it that important? A question for the ages, poignant in every generation. How can death be overcome? In our play, it's achieved by dividing a person. What do you mean? I mean that the path has a clear direction, like a bridge over the abyss. The bridge is a line made of many segments. They overlap, ensuring its continuity and growth. The overlapping creates a single entity. The abyss is endless. You'll build your bridge forever. If that's what you choose to think, you might as well leap right into the abyss. Me, I'd rather try. The kinds, too, love to blindly leap into anything, anywhere, really, so long as they don't have to remain in one place. Not exactly. In truth, they believe we must reevaluate death and change our very perception of it. See it not as universal law, but as a solvable problem. Some abysses can be crossed by building bridges, and so on. Oh, so the bridge thing was their term. I thought it sounded familiar. People overcome death by pushing the limits of self-understanding. Such as the limits that make a person perceive themselves as a body instead of the sum of knowledge connected through unique associations. Consider yourself as being more like a kaleidoscope, and your life will become... not compelling exactly, but... more. I'm a surgeon. To me, living creatures are bodies. Well, how very sad for you. As long as you perceive yourself as a body, you will die over and over. In our play, a living creature is made of many bodies at once, which is what makes observing the sand pest so fascinating. Like any epidemic, it's structured according to the same principles. Oh, you've noticed it too. That's not important. What matters is that I overcome my finite nature by dividing myself and creating connections within that new creature. Without connections, everything is pointless. Like you all, with all your attempts, you're connected by playing the same role. I'm alone. I'm still alone. Loaded my save game. 
I have a new idea. Forget visiting the kids. It's it's cute. It's nice. But I'm going to die. I need to go get the fund. So I can get food and coupons or whatever. Let's go there. Let's take this boat. Which one's closer? I guess this one. No. I don't have enough fingernails. <laughs> I can go get some from the kids. Okay. Let's go there. I also bought a ridiculously overpriced apple, which satiated my hunger a tiny, tiny, tiny bit at the shady item shop. Alright. Now I'm dying of the infection very quickly. May I add? I'm not even going to stop for anything. Not even to loot trash cans. Oh, right. It updated because I this time I didn't buy the map of the infected districts. Is the town hall also infected? I forgot if that region is. Hmm. Looks like it isn't. Almost there. Almost there. Why did I search that? I don't know. I'll take that. Fine. Just habit, I guess. And then where's the nearest pharmacy? I don't know. I'll check in a second. It'd be funny if there was nothing in the fund. Just like, whoops, sorry. Aglaia's orders. Please be bandages in here. I'm sure there won't be, but please be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Use. 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 This is actually a really good reward. Holy crap. What? Updated? Took my fund reward. Next payment is no sooner than tomorrow. Holy shit. Alright, this, this is fantastic. I'm going to eat basically all of this. Fish. Great. Smoked meat. Great. I'm gonna eat literally all of that. Pemmican. And with all that, my hunger is finally satiated almost all the way. Thirsty as hell. Inquisitorial coupon. Food is only sold for these now. I wonder how much this is worth. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me, is it only food that's sold for these? Does that mean I can go to a pharmacy? The sword is mightier than the pen, unless, an, unless it's an inquisitorial pen. Hmm. Okay, so my health being high is fantastic. However, my infection is getting higher, so um, let's go ahead and just, you know... Hurt my health again. Oh. Feels bad, but it's important. Is that the bachelor over there? Can't talk with him, though. Hope there's some good stuff at the dead item shop. Hope the dead item shop isn't at the ass end of nowhere. Five, six, seven, I got three and a half hours. Hmm, there's a pharmacy back there that's behind the theater. I mean, I'm not just about to die, so... Let's go to the theater. Are you a... Shit, that's an enemy. Damn, 
damn streets are really dangerous right now. What do we got going on here? Oh, fucker. So they temporarily clear out the bodies for the sake of the show. That's great. I wanted to apologize for the lie. I did, but still, I lied. Betrayed his trust. Betrayal means death. Next. I cheated on my wife, but thing is, we've been together for... Cheating is betrayal. Betrayal means death. Please stand to the left. Next. Listen, I understand where this is going. I beg you, forgive me. I'm guilty of betrayal too, but I will never again. Death. Next. See, the circumstances were. I never wanted to betray them, but... Death. Look, is there anyone here with a different crime? There are no other crimes. There's no such thing as evil, murder, torture, or violent abuse. The only real crime is betraying someone who trusted you. So everyone who has that kind of confession, please stand to the left. Your punishment is death. End of discussion. Lovely person. Where's the dead item shop? Up there, okay. Yeah, it's not too far away. Hmm, there's a pharmacy up there too. Cool. My immunity is okay, sorta. What does exhaustion, metro? Let's take a metro plus, that'll lower my exhaustion a tiny bit and up my immunity. White Whip, I hear you. So valuable. Five, six, seven. Hmm. I almost want to just break into one of these houses and take some stuff, but my health is too damn low for that. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I literally moved my head to the side to try to avoid that. It scared the shit out of me. All right, well. some water. You know, while I'm here, let's just go to a grocery store and see what I can buy with my coupons. Put your purse away, Ripper. We won't trade for money anymore. I know, I know. We use indulgences now. Here. Each of these is worth six. Hmm. So like a fish. Okay. All right. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna fill me up more than pemmican, isn't it? It's kind of big. Eh. It's all right. Oh. Nope. 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 
Just wait till my stamina comes back and hope they're gone. Poor Laura. Maybe I should treat them while I'm here. I do have time, and this place is kind of out of the way, you know? So this isn't a place I come to often. I need to sleep. And the thing is, I think I'm going to sleep after I go to the dead item shop. So actually, let's go to the dead item shop and then go to Lars and sleep and all that. Ah, yes, get him. Come over here. Oh god. Ooh, ooh, that's they might overwhelm the guards actually. Come there he is. Stop right there. No. No. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't you fucking die. Jesus Christ. I have like one hit point. That was a bad idea to get involved. I thought I could just go for some nice backstabs and get a little loot or something, but no. Turned around, focused on me. Oh my god. Wait for my stamina to come back. There's the pharmacy. You know... Let's go around the back, shall we? Oh, that's a whole gang of baddies over there. Oh, what am I seeing over there? It had such a unique thing over it. This puff. Maybe that's just how it looks at night. switch anyway I have like half a hit point so pharmacy up there huh somebody's after me shit fuck off fuck off fuck off get him guards Pharmacy. Mm. You better not take coupons. The coupons said they were for food. They didn't say they were for anything else. Come on. Yeah, they take money. <laughs> There's no bandages. Do you think the dead item shop would have bandages? Let's go check. If I don't die on the way there. Please have bandages. They don't fucking have bandages. You gotta be kidding me. The good thing is, I can get all this food. Like, I can get, I think, pretty much all of this. But they don't have bandages.
Let's trade the bloody bandages first, just because they're quite large. Like, look at this. Look at how much trade I can get. Canned food? Fish? Do I really need Twyrine? Not in particular. Do I need shotgun ammo? No. Do I have any reason to keep this stuff? No. I could just sell shotgun ammo, right? I don't know. Ring's good for trading. Tririne's good for stuff. It'll take some shotgun ammo. That's amazing stuff. Fuck this rusty scalpel, by the way. So, where's that nearest, um, pharmacy? Fuck. I don't know what to do. might be able to survive one more tick of damage because it's infection damage and not that high. It's not hunger damage. Assuming that is true. How many fingernails do I have? One, so I can't take the boat. I could go to Lara's place and sleep. If I can make it. No sleep over here. Let's go. I really doubt I'm gonna make it. I really, really, really doubt I'm gonna make it. Hmm. I see one pixel of my health bar. you have any, uh, no, of course you don't. Okay, I survived another tick. That's amazing. That's a miracle. What's the quickest way from here? Go this way. This way. It's right there. 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 I took another tick of damage and it didn't kill me. I'm gonna make it to the bed. <laughs> That's what this game does to me. I'm gonna make it to the bed. Okay. Um. I guess I'll use the best painkiller I have. This one I think is better because it would trade it for more. My hunger's, like, halfway. I might as well... Eat the canned food? I didn't waste that, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's sleep. For a while. What's this? What's... What is this? Well, of course it's about the skin. The skin is a connection. It's what you use to touch the world, isn't it? Your border. Oh. There's the word. Border. Like the brain. Everything that limits us exists only in the mind. Imperare sibi maximum imperium est. You're talking past each other. Ah, everyone does. The organs are what matter. And blood. Blood is the bond between us. But touch is transformative. You can only change someone through touch. They'll undergo a metamorphosis and not even notice. So it's all deception to you? Where did you even come from? No, I don't deceive people. But I touch things, leaving behind tiny pieces of myself. Then I watch. Watch them change. You can't change someone against their will. 
Only will matters. Which proves this is all about blood. Blood is only a stream of red and white cells. Sure, they contain information, but how can anything compare to the magnificence of the brain? Make up your mind. Otherwise, the town will die. No, it won't. I can perform miracles. Just let me. Let me go. Stop playing against me, both of you. Playing? Do you think this is a game? 914 people died yesterday. 922. It will be more than a thousand tomorrow. Nakoin dun orto o. Yes, this is exactly my point. They're all numbers to you. But what you think of as zeros and ones are actual people. They've already been touched by someone's will. They've been reanimated. I don't think we'll ever see eye to eye. We have such little time left. Shall we leave then? So we separate, as usual. How many days do we have? Eleven? Let's go. The clock is ticking. Didn't really sleep at all there. Day 8, in which the Heraspex finally realizes how deep the rifts go. New work is awaiting at the hospital. Anybody want to let me sleep? Can I sleep? You know something I don't know and what really bothers me is... When you take a painkiller, if taken before sleep, improves health. Made from blood. So you're supposed to take these before you sleep, right? But... Given that so many things interrupt you when you're sleeping, now that I've been interrupted twice, do I need to take another one or is it still in effect? I don't know. But just to be careful, I'm going to take another one. Please let me sleep. Yes, my health is going up. Yes. I have health. And also very high infection. But no exhaustion, so that's... I'm not going to sleep more than my exhaustion requires of me. My infection's really high. Should I just... take some? That's what leaves me being half dead, though. I'm going to see how much damage that I'm going to take. Just existing, you know? Yeah, let's go save and then see if we can treat Lara. Do you have more loot by any chance, Lara? I know it's kind of rude, but I sort of need it. Pain's pretty low. Hmm. Let's do a Zirk plus. Ooh, definitive. Muscles relax, it's in the blood. Okay. And I have some very good stuff for the blood. Good. You're gonna be alright, Laura. Look at this tiny little nightstand. Slash drawer thing. So cute. Yeah, I just saw my health go down significantly. I do need to take antibiotics. That hurts so bad. That hurts so much. Jesus Christ. I need to get rid of this fucking infection. <sighs> okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode for now. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
And when I return... I'm not sure. I guess I'll head to the hospital, see what work there is. I need to get myself sorted out before I even dare try to fight my way in to the dormitory. <laughs>